There are around 3,000 names of Palestinian children here on these lists at my feet who've been killed in the war between Israel and Hamas. And a group of Butte people is using these lists to ask Senator John Tester for a ceasefire in the war. These aren't just numbers, they're people with names. Daniel Hogan is one of a dozen people who gathered to write the names of Palestinian children under 19 years old who have been killed in the war. You kind of start to, as you're writing the name out, imagine who this person, this you know, baby was or could have been, could have become, and becomes, you know, as real as it can be for someone on the other side of the world, I think. Last week at a town hall in Butte, some of the members of the group asked Senator Tester, who is chairman of the Defense Appropriations Committee, to support a ceasefire. But representatives with Senator Tester's office say his position has not changed. This is a situation where there are no good solutions. There are no good solutions. And that's a fact. Hamas has said they want to wipe Israel off the map. You know who else they want to wipe off the map? The United States of America. That is a no. That is a fact, ma'am. I don't want to pull rank on anybody in here. I'm chairman of the Defense Appropriations Committee. I get briefed on everything that's nasty that's going on in this world. That is 100% true. That is a fact you can take to the bank. In an email response from Senator Tester's office, he says he appreciates that his constituents are making their voices heard. And over the last month, he has had many face-to-face -face meetings with Montanans about the war. Senator Tester pointed out that neither Israel nor Hamas support a ceasefire. However, he believes humanitarian pauses are appropriate, and he believes our top priority must be the release of American hostages. Senator Tester also says Israel must be allowed to effectively counter Hamas and the response must be targeted to avoid civilian casualties. Reports indicate that 3,600 Palestinian children have been killed in the war. More than 11,000 Palestinians and 1,200 Israelis have lost their lives since the conflict began over a month ago. In Butte, Megan Thompson, MTN News.